One second. Always some weird problem with OBS. There we go. This was made by developer in space. Here you can enjoy the PS1 opening of Rugrats. Thank you, Oblivion Bird, for the sub. Did you know the voice of Angelica Pickles has, like, done nothing but that? That's, like, her only role. Like, her entire career is voicing this one bratty three-year-old. <laughs> My mic quality is should be the same. Nothing changed, obviously. Maybe I was just... My mouth was just not clear because it was full of snot. What's audio? This is soul. I mean, I, I, I guess I'll just figure... I've never played Studio Tour, but it's, it's the sequel to this and it's structured identically, so I assume I'll just smash my face against it until it, until it yields, or I'll give up and cry, and it will be an ignoble chapter in Chris history. Loading. This game, this looks pretty good for PS1, honestly. Where's my reptile puzzle? <laughs> Tommy's doing the, the gay vampire hands a little bit because he's doing T-Rex mode. Oh, here it is. But where's all the pieces inside? What's wrong? Either a lot of the puzzle pieces are missing, or it's the easiest puzzle ever. The pieces must be all over the house. So this is the conceit of the game. It's a collect-a-thon. It's a collect-a-thon where I think you need 11 pieces. Oh, you need 12 pieces. Oh my God, it's like Super Mario. If you needed 12 stars to beat Mario 64. Okay, that, oh, there, that would help. So you gotta hold the fucking R1 button in this game as you run around, cause that, locks the camera behind Tommy. There's really like, it's, it feels like you're controlling a baby that is drunk. Like this baby is drunk as shit. Get out of his way. Where's my reptile puzzle? This, this is a pretty like well-scaled house, honestly. <laughs> kind of digging that one. So basically, um, 
You're, you run around and try to find things that have levels inside them. Which can be anything. Let's start with the level I always started with as a kid. Ice Cream Mountain. I haven't golfed in ages. I'm taking the kids for ice cream, deed. <laughs> this is gonna be great. So you have to do nine fucking mini golf holes in this level. They made a little mini golf game that you have to do nine holes of. At the end of this majestic golf course stands Ice Cream Mountain. That's where I'm going to get a hole-in-one and win you kids so much ice cream, you'll be eating until you're grown-ups. So what if it's never been done before? We just gotta get the ball. That's the average balls. dad confidence, we'll get a whole really. Of ice cream. If we all do some, we'll be done in no time. So this is a not exactly a complex challenge. Hmm, this is harder than it looks. Go, little ball, go! Yay! The, the, a hold in one. Th there's no, there's no like m physics to this game either. That ball touches the hole it's in. It can't like pop out. They tried really hard, but some things were beyond them on this PS1 game that has 80 different gameplay modes. Wish there was music between... Between levels, it wasn't just silent loading. There's a lot of voice lines in this game, though. Ah, so no, fuck. It's over. <laughs> this is kind of fun. Just smash cuts to Chucky jumping into the wood chipper because he couldn't get a hole in one in this fucking mini golf course. Thanks, camera. I love not being able to see what fucking direction I'm aiming. They do put a lot of effort into making this feel very much like the show. It was it's honestly pretty high high effort for the PS1. Yeah, I'm, I I I change that free ice cream policy. Come again soon. Bye-bye. I'm just going to I'm just going to get I'm just going to get gonna get her crushed by me. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't give a shit. Those pigtails can't be can't be denied. She just doesn't get <laughs> But yeah, look, I'm going to max out the power and I bet it'll still go right in. There's no way there's any consideration to speak. Oh, there is. Nothing. There is a little bit. So it can't be too fast or it'll bounce off. I'm actually a little surprised. Your mini golf course has a bathroom level? So it's honestly really How about a nice plastic spider? Nah, I didn't think so. I didn't I really didn't anticipate like it's really fucked up that the, the that the revival, which by the way, there's a Rugrats revival that's like airing right now, but nobody knows because it was actually made for children instead of adults. But they 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 like deleted Phil and Lil's dad. 
And it's like, no, that was important beard representation. What are you doing? That's important. That's important representation of, of of two gay people who got married and had kids, so nobody would nobody would uh suspect. The, yeah, he, he like their dad just doesn't exist anymore. He's just gone. Oh yeah, that the, the second uh, Chucky's dad gets married in Rugrats in Paris, the second movie, he becomes a libertarian guy with an Asian wife. Did somebody say ice cream? Don't play the same voice line twice in a row, please. Yeah, he mar he married a Japanese woman who was the um who was like a you corporate secretary for nothing for Reptarco. One thing that I always thought was pretty funny about Rugrats is the is the like the decision. Thank in Aaron I for the follow. Was the decision to make oh I really gotta change that free ice cream policy. Was the decision to make uh, like Reptar into Mickey Mouse? So like imagine a society where Reptar has the cultural pull of Mickey Mouse. Not too fast. Which I think is, is is a pretty funny concept. It's like, yeah, instead of Mickey Mouse, it's Reptar. You don't want it's, it's Godzilla. Anyway. Boy. Rugrats R Rugrats added a lot more tertiary characters that norm that shows normally do when they're petering out, but it just kept going. Come again soon. Bye bye. That's the black, that's the fucking gravity well, so don't get your ball in the gravity well. Yay! Oh shit. I, one. I did it. Oh, thank you, Die Die Diamond, for the sub. I didn't notice that was a sub. <laughs> this is kind of fun. They should just give Chucky his big brave dog line, like regardless of the of the of the, of the contact. Damn. Okay, I can do this. I think they make you do this shit again in Studio Tour, but I can't remember. I mean, I've never played it, but I've but things I've heard are that they have this exact level again, like different forces, obviously, but the same gameplay. I'm like, you did it two games in a row? Come on, it strained credulity you the first time, guys. This is the Egypt they teach you about in American schools. You want a year's supply of nothing. Making a big you coil. That ice cream anyway. Boy, talk about phlegm. Oh shit, I didn't know I didn't know Chucky's on the pillars. We'll have to look at those here in a second. Is there any way to? <laughs> is it L one? Uh, hey, hey, why do you have my kids like and their friends like on on your decorations, mini golf course guy? Psych. That's pretty strange if you think about it. I wonder if there's like a reptar bar over here. I have... There's a lot down here. Is it like a path that goes all the way through? Is there going to be more than... 
What the fuck? I I've never been in here. I didn't know there was a fucking maze down here. What, are there enemies? Whoa! Oh shit, it's Mummy Mr. Fiend. Um, a bizarre thing about this game is that the more Reptar bars you get, if you get enough Reptar bars, they eventually give you a puzzle piece for them. So you can actually skip levels by collecting enough of these Reptar bars in lev in other levels. It's it's like it, it's like if you needed 10 stars to beat Mario 64, but they still had the 100 coin stars. So you just get a one 100 coin star and you like skip lead the lava land. Oh man, I'm never gonna fucking find my way out. We're screwed. It's over. Angelica sealed beneath the earth forever. Ice cream mountain, here I come. Yeah, I'm I'm sorry, Angelica. I don't think you're ever getting out of here. Okay, this seems like the way out, yeah. Thank you, Reen Superfan. For the five months. Ice That's not true. Mountain, here I come. Tommy's one, Chucky's two, and Angelica's three. Do this. Uh, Dill is like two months old. The whole game, but Dill doesn't exist yet. This is this is pre 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 Rugrats movie. Remember bomb pops? I think you can still buy bomb pops. But, they're... Bye -bye. but like the flavor of bomb pops is not something that is very palatable as an adult, I feel like. Even as a kid, I feel like mm, bomb pops did not have a very... Very enjoyable flavor. It's like very artificial. Now where's that ice cream? Is there like a Reptar bar off in the side margins of this level? That seems like the kind of place you don't want one. all that ice cream anyway. Boy, talk about phlegm. Guess not. Instead of ice cream, how about a nice plastic spider? Nah, I didn't think so. Well, yeah, did, Rugrats just establishes that if somebody's, like, too much younger than you, you don't understand that they're a human being, which is how all, which is how all humans are, really. Great job, kids. Now I'm going to get you all the ice cream you can eat, because it's free. We got a puzzle piece. Now we have to place the piece. We're already one sixth done. Uh, Stu isn't was an inventor who made toys, correct? In fact, I think that was one of the conflicts of the uh, of the movie, is that his his brother. Angelica's dad was like, you need to you need to get a normal fucking job. To which I respond, I don't know. They they live in this gigantic house with like eight bedrooms. Oh, let's throw Tommy down the stairs. That's the thing I used to do a lot as a kid. Is just try and send Tommy all the way down the stairs. You can you can't you can jump. He's got it. I know I got him all the way down the stairs once. I don't think there's fall damage, though. Uh, 
I do like just when running into the wall. That's very realistic. To babies. God, it runs so bad. We're like in a slightly large potato salad. Pop, don't. Pop, you're scaring the children. Potato salad sticks to my teeth, so I'm taking them out. If you do, nobody else will be able to eat. Please, Pop, just stick to jello molds. This will be our little secret, eh, Sprout? Some people like potato salad. That's understandable. I can't wait to sink my gums into that potato salad. Oh. Ooh. Even even in low fidelity PS. <laughs> Yeah, this is, this is a full 3D PS1 game. It doesn't run that great. Rugrat Rugrats is a world where uh where all cribs and like child containment devices are destined to fail like Jurassic Park with the I don't know, with the uh, the fences I think you get little cutscenes for using it using these uh Come on, Chucky. yeah you get little cutscenes if you use the park things Oof, I don't think it, I don't think it yeah it doesn't it doesn't actually do anything Yeah, it's just all do there's, that doesn't give you anything, but you can do it. This is the level where the drunk baby effect is like really strong because the frame rate is also bad. So it's like, whoa, Tommy is fucking tank. Are we lost? Yay! Like, there's not even a joke in these. It's just a little... Yeah, he, he, he swung on the swing for a second. That's good. I'm, I'm glad they're done. That sure seemed to be a nightmare. God, look how bad this runs. Holy shit. This is like slideshow tier. It'll run a little better now that we're in the hedge maze. I don't know if this... This probably wasn't on in 64 because that was cart-based and this has lots of music. Uh, there's probably a reptile bar over here. There is not. That geese just wants to kick our ass. Just hurdle these ba babies through this fucking hedge maze full of pissed off geese. Talk about a wild goose chase. How many of these levels are just going to be hurling these children into like a deadly maze? Which way now? Wait for me, Tommy! Here's- 
We did it. There he is. Yeah, I'd shit my pants at this. Run, Chucky, run! Come on, Spike, let's go! Uh, that, that's a baby bottle, right? Quartz my health. I think it's supposed to be juice? Forget if you have to do a fucking boss fight against the goose. It's been it's been obviously I can't imagine that I played this ever after like 2001. So it's Okay, every 15 reptar bars you get, you get to skip a level. That's really goofy. Oh, hello Gigaboots with 224 raiders. This is a fucking Rugrats game on the PS1 that runs terribly every time you're in a space larger than a postage stamp. Right now we are chasing a goose that has our grandpa's teeth and also Chucky. This is like if this game is like if Super Mario 64 had uh, had 12 stars and you and you could skip them by getting 100 coin stars. Thank you Dante Namikaze for the sub and Shoebreaker for the sub. Let, fucking get over Fucking get over that, dog. Hurry, Spike! Chucky needs help! As you can see, there's there, uh... We have frames and frames per second. Maybe I can stop that goose with these things. Save Chucky from the goose. Use left and right buttons to aim Tommy and press triangle to kick pucks at the goose. So I have to hit the goose five times and not hit Chucky four times. Yeah, I just kicked the shit out of that goose. Sometimes big geese eat them. Good for him. You could eat tomato salad forever. I'm gonna go, uh... I'm gonna go close the door so there's not any sounds that come in. Have a good one, Rosh Dickenberg. We're already a third done! Isn't that incredible? Oh, and they force you to do these bonus levels where you can earn Reptar Bars. So your Angelica got sick eating too many cookies. Eat all the cookies before she can get any more. Run away from her and press triangle to throw the box with the bait. Okay, so throw the so don't, just just don't let her. It's like a weird football game.
What does she do? She gets close. I guess nothing. I guess she just fucking ominously walks towards you forever like the Terminator. Owned. I would imagine this probably costs somewhere around 20 to $30. For the person who bought it for me, not like by default. Ga games tended to have, before the PS2 gen, I feel like that's when it really set in hard. Games kind of had a lot more varied price points. Like it wasn't weird for a game to just be $30 in the store. Like, you'd see a game that's 30, a game that's 40, a game that's 50. And then that kind of eat standardized to 50 during the PS during the PS2 era. And then it went to 60 in the P in the in sick in in, in seventh gen. Mmm, popcorn. I think there's a level outside. Bubbles! <laughs> and there's a reptar bar. What was the best game they gave me? I mean, if we're going if we're going by like the 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 licensed games you get from relatives who don't really understand video games, this is probably the high at the top shelf. Like this is probably it's the peak. Fun because this was a game I actually beat, and the alternative was Bubbles. fucking total garbage like that Phantom Menace game. D the DS was 30. Like, games on the DS were $30. The only exceptions were fucking Square Enix games that were always 40 and then 3DS games were 40, and Square Enix games were always 50. There's a reason that the term Square Enix tax was coined. Because it really did feel like a tax. This is my mommy and daddy's room. I know they don't let you go into hard levels at first, but do we have, a, we have four pieces. Is that enough to go to hard levels? No. I need more puzzle pieces before I can do hard level. You babies are gonna be in my circus! Yay! A circus! <laughs> I don't know, Angelica. I don't like circuses. All right, everybody, there's not gonna be any circus, because Chucky doesn't want us to have one. But circuses is fun, Chucky. Don't you want us to have any fun, Chucky? Everyone peer pressure the nerd. Bye bye. I want to be in the circus. So, so, so we're controlling. You just gotta run around in a big circle and collect bones. I don't know how Angelica got all this, these things to set up in the backyard. I also don't know how she teleported us to another dimension where the house didn't exist. I think, I think giving a spoiled three-year-old a stand is a uh, a pretty pretty dangerous move overall you don't really giving baby stands tends to not work out from the couple of times it happened in in the actual series they don't even have a counter for how many fucking bones you yeah I, angelica's mom is like a high-powered corporate attorney and, and her dad is like a paper pusher. 
So that's why you'd get see. You, that's why you'd get uh you'd get jokes and see in episodes where where Angelica's dad is like, "Daddy has to go do overtime, so mommy isn't as, so ashamed of his quarterly earnings." <laughs> this is neat. I thought I'd have to like mash buttons to ride, but I guess not. I don't know how they're managing that jump either. Oh, boy, I'm gonna do some napping today. Thank you! Thank you! And now, Ring Monster Angelica's Baby Circus is proud to present Chucky the Human Candy Ball! Yeah, um... And now, Chucky the Human Candy Ball! The adult yeah, stuff in Rugrats Chucky. does feel like shockingly well, for advanced for a kid's you. show of the era. Just sit there and wait for your cue. Plus, of course, you have stuff like the uh, the pudding and the the 144 eggs. I'm gonna work. Press triangle to start the jump meter. Press triangle a second time when it reaches the smaller left line, and a third time when it moves back to the smaller right. Line. I've got a bad so feeling just... about this. Look out! Just this. He really did it! What a show topper! My circus is a complete extent. I get to be a human candy ball next. No, I'll fill up I do. I do, Lillian! Are you sent me to be Lillian? I gotta stop working with babies. What? They made him a streamer in the in the revival. That's almost enough to get me to look at it, just to know what they did. Oh, it's time for another bonus this level. This amazing antique mirror I got at Colden Aldi's. It's a genuine Louis the Fourteenth looking glass. It should look very classical in the bathroom. Now, where did I leave that seventeenth-century? Uh oh. Uh, everything's downside up. I must be in Mirrorland. I got to get up to the mirror so I can go through it and get back to Norman. Good job, Spike. If I can get a oh, yeah. balloons, I'll Tommy's dad's not a deadbeat. He's a oh, originally he was down? a toy inventor, I don't toy know. designer. I better start looking. Find the six purple question mark boxes. Release the balloons, then collect the balloons. I got to get up to that mirror. Oh, or is it down? Hey, it worked. Yeah, just run around. Just make the kids run around. Uh, Holy shit, that's like a lot of balloons. Here. So I'm gonna have to collect like 120 balloons? Uh, hey. I never thought it'd be hard to get hey, Tommy. You mind picking that up? Pass the remote for the follow, and Brian of the Woods 98 for the follow. Okay, nothing in this room. Uh, in, there was that episode where he made the bubble machine. That was pretty successful for my recollection. Because that was an episode where he had to go get a normal job as an accountant at Consolidated Lard? And the episode ends with him successfully making a toy so he no longer has to work at Consolidated Lard.
Okay, nothing here. I guess that's all the balloons upstairs. Or down stairs. I guess we should check the basement. Or attic? Ooh, reptile bar. This is a really bad bonus level. It's just running around. There's not even constant grading voice lines to make you insane. What's even the point? Rugrats is like the most authentic baby portrayal because it correctly portrays babies as weird lumpy dipshits. You know, I've seen most of the episodes they reference in this game, but this is actually one I've never I'm unfamiliar with. remember mirror land at all I remember they made they actually made reptar bars for one of the movies I forget which one it was but I remember that they they put out reptar bars which had like neon green nougat inside because that's what they had because the whole point in the in the show was that they made your tongue turn green because they had some kind of toxic green goo inside and I think for the real version they just made it nougat did I miss a balloon C hey camera Tommy, you mind picking that up, boy? It's kind of clipping through your entire body. Oh boy, we got another puzzle piece from collecting candy bars. That's two levels we get to, we've skipped. It would be like it would be clever. I I do feel like it would be clever if the cartoon talked about like Shin Reptar. I think that would be very funny. We have enough. Hey, yes, we have enough. We have enough to do this up. level. From Toy Palace. Hmm. Toy Palace. If you want to go. Dee Dee, I'm taking Tommy and Chucky to the store. This is one of the few things that's actually kind of like a level and not like a mini game.
Wow, isn't this place terrific? The Toy Palace is closing in five minutes. Please take your final purchases to the front of the store. Sorry, kids. Looks like we have to... Hey, the Wee Willy Warp Time Translator. This is the bestest place ever. I wish we never had to leave. Maybe we don't. Here we go again. Oh, the cold fusion reactor's not even included. Let's go, kids. The Toy Palace is now closed. Thank you for shopping, Toy Palace. Tobby? Tobby? Ooh, I got a bad feeling about this. Be brave and work your way through the Darken Store to find Tommy. Hey! I'm not scared to get around here! So, uh, so Chucky's piss bottle is reduced when he gets scared. He doesn't even have to take damage. That's ridiculous. Which way now? I think you can, I think you can kill Mr. Fiend here. And hurt yourself if the ball bounces back into you. Very baby core. But I think if you hit him a couple times, he does in fact die. I don't know if it's. I don't know if he permanently dies. Well, I, I can't like seem to kill him. This. Man, the frames. The value on these frames. Fuck, I'm trapped in a fucking combo. I can find a cookie. Hey, I'm so wow. Here. I got another one. We're flying through this game. Man, the not the nineties sure was a time. Uh hey, I'm so scared to Ma get around here. Man, just just like play footage of it the frame rate tanking here in the ball pit with like the ball pit in Kingdom Hearts 3 in the Toy Story level. This'll never work. I don't like this. I don't like this. Ooh, health. Good. It's me. Oh, Tommy, I'm so glad to see you. There was clouds and robots, but now everything's okay. Thorn hungry! Ah! Thorn want to eat! Yeah. Thorn hungry! Ah! Thorn want to eat! Ah! Reptar can save us, but he's asleep. We got to climb up there and push that button to wake him up. Even the babies understand that King Kong just has no shot against Godzilla. Dinosaur around. Help! This is like the only platforming in the entire game is having to make this one jump. Reptar will save us. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna get a picture of Thorg after this and make the uh potential fraud reported as fraud but Thorg. Us. Look at all the toys. No the boss the boss exists in the the boss exists in in real space. 
Uh, you have to. He he's off in a side room though. Look at all the toys. I'm just throwing this fucking baby against the walls, trying to get this block. I don't even think I need to get that block. I think there's a, there's like mini extras. Yeah, I'm gonna grab some of them that don't involve jumping. See, there he is. Reptar will save us. I don't think he can leave that room. Look out, it's Thorg! Reptar will save us. So I need two more, I think. Yeah, I need two. Man, are there even toy stores anymore? Toys R Us went out of business. So it Careful feels like that's an entire, me. that's like an entire cultural touchstone that just doesn't exist anymore. The corporate America just successfully ground out of what existence. Save us? Save us? Yeah, I need one more. Uh, yeah, there might be like us? independent toy stores in big cities, but yeah, like the idea of of like a small one is or not a small one, but like a chain is totally gone. Man, some of these guys are like, what is, Careful, what is this? A, a, is he like a gin? Is he just like a weird looking ginger? He's got like freckles and red hair, and and then you got the the, the depression bear and the a really look weird looking flamingo. make one of those they took the world you were born into from you images but it's just about Look toys are us stuff. i don't think i need it. i think i'm yeah okay. Reptile we, did. Will save we us? did it halt i am reptar halt i am reptar halt i am reptar get him reptar Thorg knocked him down for a Chucky, second, though. Who are you? I'm so glad to see you again. I had to bribe a security guard to let me in here. Lucky I had those donuts. Th Thorg go one, two. Thorg win second round. I don't. I don't think this game has rep. This game has reptar on eyes. This is my mommy and daddy's room. Ooh, I know what level I want to do now that we can we have access to the hard levels. Mmm, popcorn. Fucking pick up, fucking start the level, Tommy. That's the fifth box this week. Oh, go ahead. Deny me my fudgy dingling bars. The one real pleasure left me in my twilight years. If you want them so bad, why don't you do the shopping once in a while? Fine. Come on, Scout.
I just love the idea of Grandpa eating like eight boxes of fucking zingers a week. That has to be like... There's like... There's like eight zingers in a box, so he's eating like five a day. Reptar? Reptar! Reptar cereal! How come we can't buy... Wow, that is a really Trogdor-looking reptar. Like, his body's just an S. to find that reptar cereal. Find your way to the back of the store. Reptar posters will help you find the way. Press circle to walk safely over slippery areas. Larry, Steve, clean up in the seafood department. Lobsters. Those, th those are good posters. I guess that's supposed to be Pepsi. Perpy Pop. Another great face. There's a lot of great environmental assets in this game. Larry, Steve, clean up in the deli. Beware of mayonnaise. Ugh. Gotta shuffle the baby along these, this icy floor. Larry, Steve, clean up on aisle seven. I need one of you. Can I grab those? Hey, a toy. Whee! Oh, he's in heaven now. It's over. Oh. Look out! What? Yay! It took me to the checkpoint of the level. It took me- that just teleported me halfway through the level. Oh, I have to take- This sounds- Look, I get- I get that this music is in the game- is in the show, but this set- That jingle sounds so much like the fucking Shinra building- Ominous Shinra building theme. Watch out for the pinchy things. Unopened cans can be used to tame wild lobsters, but open cans hurt. Okay. Larry, Steve, clean up in the bakery department. What a mess! Ah! Lobsters! He's coming. He's coming. Larry, Steve, clean up in the detergent department. Uh, just add water. <laughs> Ow. Looks like they had an avalanche. Larry, clean up by the ice machine. Bring them up. Ow, ow, ow. I want that cookie. Oh God! Man, that lobster really wants to eat this kid. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm giving up on that cookie. We're just running as fast as we can through this level. Oh, there's a cookie. Well, I guess we need to climb Ice Mount. Man, you're gonna get, like, cold. You're just tromping through the fucking ice there, kiddo. Oh. Wrong way. kind of jumpy I'm gonna make it uh, if I don't fall down
this is how it feels when you're in a walk and talk segment that won't end. Yeah, Tommy's bottle is full of the fucking haze serum. This game has no coyote time, by the way. In case you were wondering if this PS1 platformer had coyote time, it does not. Nine, what what eight, is making the eggs do that? And me without my bottle. <laughs> What is making the doors do that? Steve, clean up in the soda department. Bring a bucket. That is a big fucking lobster. To find that reptile cereal. He got to climb up there and push that button. To get to Reptar cereal, Tommy needs to get past the boss lobster. You mean old blobsters aren't gonna stop me? Uh oh, ow, ow, ow. Ow. Leave me alone. Man, they sure took a chunk out of my health. That'll show you. It'd be nice if the controls in this game were responsive at all. Well, I despawned the lobsters. Now I just gotta stun this guy and run over here and climb up to this switch. That's a different Reptar. Reptar graphic than every other one in the game. Six dollars and fifteen cents. Huh. How'd you get down there, Scott? Yeah, well, never mind that. Let's go. Almost done. Just three more pieces. Game's a lot shorter than I remember. Ooh, bonus level. You sure you'll be all right with the kids? Of course. You and Betty go enjoy yourselves. Well, all right. We'll be back in a couple of hours. Yes. Yes. Now you kids play nice and stay out of trouble. While we enjoy the Ultra Bowl. Fixed up something special for you, Sprout. Hmm. Bottles are for babies. Wow! Chocolate milk! Chocolate milk! Chocolate milk? Chocolate milk? But that's for grown-ups like me! No, it's not! Give me that! Angelica wants to take Tommy's chocolate milk, drink all the Oh, it's this is just the cookie level again. Except we're on a football field. Over here! This team has chutzpah! This rivalry goes back a long way. I think she will literally try and tackle you, but maybe I'm wrong. Yes, she will. She will just throw a diving tackle at this baby. Now, is there a level in the garage? 
I actually don't remember. Thank you, Willaram, for the follow. I mean, for the sub. Can I even get in the garage? No, I cannot. It will not let me in the garage in the normal gameplay mode. There's also nothing in the laundry room. Mmm, popcorn! I don't guess there's no way to get up to that, so that isn't a level. Is there a level in the basement? Hey, look, it's the schematic for the Reptar cart from the movie. No, we're not doing Mr. F the Mr. Friend level. That's just that's just a boss fight against three regular enemies. I was so sure there was a level outside. It, it just seems strange for there to not be. Ooh, I've never done... I don't remember this one. Stupid brain. Now I'm gonna be stuck inside with you babies all day. I'd rather eat broccoli and take a bath at the same time. Uh, maybe we can find a nice game to play inside. Like what? Pin the tail on Chucky? How about hide and go peek? All right. But I get to pick who's gonna be it. Chucky! Ah! After you find someone, you gotta tag them and race them to the playpen. But... Take off your glasses. Extra eyes is no fair. <laughs> Why me? Why? I don't think the Digimon movie's that cursed. my glasses is this gonna be some nightmare where i cannot where it's gonna be blurry okay it is not blurry i mean it's not you know more blurry than a ps1 game normally is ps1 games actually weren't that blurry it's nintendo that had the bizarre fixation on making their shit covered in vaseline for three console gens everything's worse than usual I wish I had my glasses. Where is everybody? Ooh, free piece. Almost done. Just two pieces left. Where are any of these fucking kids hiding? Is that you, Phil? There's no way there's nobody on the ground floor at all. That just Where doesn't seem likely. Everybody? Maybe we should find a nice game to play inside. What was I thinking? There's, there's Tommy. Uh-oh. The only part of me that's good at running is my nose. Uh-oh. The only part of me that's good at running is my nose. You can just fling yourselves down the stairs if you can control the bad... The bad, uh, jumping. Uh, 
never could have find them. Is there seriously nobody in the garage? Why that seems can't impossible. I just my glasses? Yes, oh, God. I wish I had my glasses. Maybe the spaces they hide is random. And I just got like a really bizarre pull where none of them are downstairs. Someday I need to play Digimon Cyber Sleuth Hacker's Memory because I beat the original. But then I never really got... Like I never played Hacker's Memory. I heard that, like, there's some form of bizarre carryover to that game, so that would probably make it faster. Tommy's there jittering in the in the prison. It would be funny if they cranked the draw di distance down to like nothing. So now, now the house is fucking Silent Hill. Is that you, Angelica? I think, um, I think like your your Digimon encyclopedia also carries over. Because I remember somebody being like, "What the fuck? You mean I can just make Lilithmon immediately?" Why can't I just find my glasses? Sorry, gotta run. What? We did it! We flung that child all the way down the stairs. Good job, Chucky. Too bad I'm gonna beat you to the playpen. That was easy. Aw, oh, nuts. I guess I gotta find Angelica now. Uh, uh, I don't feel so good. Here, take your yucky glasses. Oh, that's better. You look a little sick, Angelica. <laughs> ah! You. Let's go clean you up. Loading, loading, loading. I have to use the bathroom, so you can go on break time for a second.
Break time is over. Babies are eternal. Mmm, popcorn! It's fun playing outside! There surely must be a level out here. Thank you, 100 for the 100 bit Simon the Digger. How has Infant Simulator 1998 been treating you? It's stunningly. This game's solid. Like, it's not great, but it's a level of competence you wouldn't expect from a licensed game on PS1. I guess there's seriously no level out here. Bubbles. Like the bubble machine? Yeah, the bubble machine ain't neither. Where's my reptile puzzle? <laughs> We only did like one level upstairs. I'm sure there's others. Yeah, I heard that Toy Story game on, on PS1 was actually pretty solid. Uh, completely unlike the Toy Story game on SNES, which is a horrific nightmare from which no joy can escape. Which, sadly, that, that might be where we're going on this stream af if I beat both these Rugrats games faster than I expected myself to. This is Grandpa's room. Sure, that level seems interesting. Good job. I've been looking for this. Now I can see if my paper is scooped for news again. Come on, Pop. That's not news. Those tabloids make all that up. They tell the truth. Your real news doesn't dare. See, right here. A whole family taken by aliens from outer space. They fly around in the middle of the night. And is, is, right is Grandpa Pickles, is Grandpa Pickles part of QAnon? Time for bed. Champ. Sleep I think it's uh, uh, honestly I think it sucks that we we now lump in like occult like paranormal cranks with with racist cranks those are two different genres of guy everybody's so fucking sensitive now when somebody believes in aliens and ghosts wow that was a jarring transition They give this literally a... Oh, right, the... Oh, I really don't like alien stew. That's... that's no good. Guide Angelica through the alien saw, so just... so I can just zap guys with this remote. Doesn't have an actual projectile, though. This place is strange friction. There's got to be some way out of here. Boy, aliens sure got bad taste. Don't be 
these alien spaceships got back doors? Man. This 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 level has too many active enemies. The game can't actually handle it at all. Man, like, it is just totally skipping half her run cycle, so it just looks bizarre. It just looks like she's fucking reverse long jumping through this level. So you got Mega Mind. You got conjoined guys. Psst, over here, oh, this one. fucking what fish. You mean, kid? You're talking to me? I'm not supposed to talk to strangers, especially fish. I'm Sablito Festerich, but my friends call me George. I'm from the planet Neptuna. That figures. Look, kid, I'll help you get out of here if you release me. Otherwise, I'm on the menu for tomorrow night's alien dinner. All right, but no fishy stuff. There she is. Get her. Wow! What happened? I turned off the gravity. Just swim. You're on your own, kid. Thanks a lot, fish face. Wow, this level's really hey, high effort. Look at me go! <laughs> hey, this is almost fun! Oh, 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 I'm willing to bet. <laughs> this is great. Yep, my guess was correct. What is going on with this camera? Kind of a jarring transition, but sure. I, found, I did it. Reptar Zola? No, Reptar 2010. That's what it says. Reptar Zola. Hey, you found all your puzzle pieces. Good job, kids. But now it's time to go night-night. You've all had a very busy day today. Sleep tight. Mm. Reptar. So this is the this is, this is the final level. You just get to be Reptar, and it runs really bad. Reptar is ravaging the city. 
Never in my entire career as a reporter have I seen such destruction. Hey, Steve Bloom. I didn't think we'd get you in this game. That was before you you, you were able to do only able to do gravel voice. Building has been reduced to rubble. Thank goodness everyone was at lunch. If you see Reptar, all citizens are advised to uh, run like crazy. Oh uh, yeah, we're we're gonna play the sequel to this also, and if that game is equally short, I'm I'm I might go smash my head like I might close like a like a mouse trap on my hand and and play the Toy Story SNES game. You have attacks, but there's not really any reason to do them. Unfortunately, Mayor Killy's proposed anti-giant lizard attack defense system never gained support. Are you prepared for giant fire-breathing dinosaur attack? We'll show you how tonight at 10. What? That was stunningly smooth. I thought some element of that game, this game would be much more horrible. But that was, that wasn't anything. Time for the world's grainiest footage for the credits. I don't think any element of this game took a week to make. People tend to forget how fucking fast you could crank games out before the PS2. You could make shit like this in like six months. You can still make shit like this in six months. It's probably even easier to make shit like this in six months thanks to Unreal Engine. But you have to actually keep it to the scope and scale of something like this. It would act, you could probably make this something the size of this game really quickly with modern tools. Like remember, uh, Pseudo Regalia was a fucking game jam game initially. And that game's fucking a lot bigger than this. Okay, we've we've seen we've seen enough of that. I guess I guess we're done with this. I don't think it adds anything. Where's my reptile? Like you can puzzle? play. Oh, you can't play Reptar 2010 again. I thought it. I thought it allowed you to do that. Only play that level once a playthrough. But oh well, let's switch games. Yeah, the, the, yeah, that bro, that Rugrat series is recent.
No, I want analog. Thank you. Yeah, I, I, I hope that I hope that there isn't something unspeakably horrible in this one. In space. Guess they didn't want to reuse the uh the intro cutscene. Oh god, there's Dill. looks like a rat my name is larry and i'll be your guide today on your left is our prop storage area it's totally cool but we're not going there till later on in the tour on your right is the hot set area filled with huge movie stars shooting exciting new blockbuster films i don't think this was a tie into the movie like that was its own set. game i think it must be a hundred degrees out here this hot? Back in my day, it wasn't hot unless you were on fire. Pop, back in your day, you didn't have fire. Shush, you two. This is fascinating. Stars eat here. And imitation meat products. All at prices tailored to meet the movie star's budget. Limited edition. This is the bestest studio tour I ever been on. Yeah, yeah, me too. Too. Yeah, you babies must be cheap. The models look a little more... Angelica, I don't think oh shit, it's, it's really hot. Cindy? Oh, sure. And the moon isn't made out Trini? of Trini? I'm going to the place he said was totally cool. Good idea. Yeah. Follow oh, us. Oh, Susie. Oh, right, no, Susie. I wouldn't like it if you melted. <laughs> it's going to be a long day. I don't think that's such a good idea. That guy said that we were going there later, not now. And if if we go now, maybe there'll be monsters in there. I don't do well with monsters. And then, guys, guys, ah, wait up for me! Thank you, HSLPG, for the follow. Start game. Well, I guess I'll start the game. No, dear. I you killed us all. We should have stayed on that hot old studio tour. But no, you guys had to go on some big adventure, and now we're in big trouble. Finster, if I could find you, I. Oh. Hey, you guys, I think I see a nightlife. Follow me. Uh, but I think I'll just stay here, all alone in the dark. Uh, uh, who am I kidding? Here we go again. Hey, who's in here? I have a walkie-talkie. Oh, it's some Sorry, baby. Little guys, you can't go into the top secret filming area. I have the only keys to the high-tech space sage security door, which is open. Oops. Mine. <laughs> ah, my keys. Double oops. What a story. Now I gotta find the other keys, unlock this door, and rescue that kid. So much for a long lunch. Come on, you guys. We got to search this whole studio to find the rest of those keys and rescue that kid. Um, I mean, Dill. Once we got the key, it goes in that locky thing. I, I do think Dill just throwing the keys and then, like, phasing through the plane of reality. Oh. I guess... I guess this makes more sense. See, but that guy was lazy and taking a long lunch, so he obviously doesn't you count as a cop. To be a cowgirl. Well, if it ain't Susie the kid. Yeah! This counter ain't big enough for the both of us, so I'll leave. Mosey on in and start filming your western epic, Lazy Saddles. 
Get along, little Susie. I don't. Was this? Did they? That must have been the lone stranger. Oh, the controls are different. Does the? I no longer. I okay, the, they changed what side the fun. the camera lock button was. a little puny to be working in a gold mine. You gotta be tough and healthy like me. <laughs> Ain't nothing easier than steering one of these here mine carts. Except maybe just sitting in them. Whee! Just press left or right to turn or lean to reach those nuggets. Push it forward or backwards to go, well, forward and back. I really am gonna hit a gold mine. This is some really banjo-y music. Like a l really. Oh, excuse the smell, little missy, but we're using real animals for this here barnyard scene. If you're not used to handling little critters, mosey on over to the sheriff's badge and listen up. It's like a petting zoo gone crazy. There's critters loose all over the barnyard. Round them all up by using the circle button to pick them up and put them down. You don't have all day, so watch that timer. This is the easy part. If I can handle How do my I... brothers, I can handle farm animals. How do I start the game? Oh, okay, it's, it's these. Okay. Good luck, partner. Watch out for tumbleweeds. This doesn't sound super Steve Bloomy, but maybe. It's like a petting zoo gone crazy. There's critters loose all over the barnyard. It now would be funny. By using the circle button to pick them up and put them down. You don't have all day. The so idea of Steve time. Bloom doing my uh, doing my po folks voice is pretty funny though. So is this game nothing but like timer segments? Oh god. I'm good. Fucking get in my hand, little birdie. I'm 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 just gonna assume that the horrible thing they do is want you to have all the reptar bars, so I'm gonna grab as many as I can in every level. Gotcha. I'm good. I like the bunny graphics for the pins. Those are cute. This is a lot more like a traditional license thing than the first one. Like this has this feels more low effort. Even though this probably cost more money, it just has less soul because you're doing everything through menus and with highly visible tutorials. That was just exactly right. Oh, I gotta do it again. It's a chicken bunny stampede. Get them back in their right pens and don't mix them up. Press the circle button to grab a critter and press it. Again yeah, I get it. Right okay, that that is Steve Bloom. Why am I Tommy now? I'm gonna get you! You're going to time out! I caught 
did you? You're going to time up. I caught it, you. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't think there's a. I don't think there's a. Like a Wild West episode. I thought there was, but then I realized I was remembering a Doug episode. <laughs> where Doug's grandma makes him go on the baby show, the baby cowboy show, and has the tape and like Roger steals the tape and then Doug finds out that Roger also had to you. go on that fucking show because of his grandma. I won. I won. And then they uh and then they bond by burning the VHS tape. Three times? You're making me do it three times? Uh-oh. Dill Plum let all the farmer's favorite pigs loose with the other little varmints. We gotta get him in their pen before he comes back. To find those three little piggies, press the circle button to pick one up. If it's one of the farmer's prized pigs, you'll see stars. Run them over to the pen and press the circle to put them down. You'll have to find all three before the timer goes off. Ready? Lights, camera, action! This is not a great level. You are not a proper pig. You are. Oops. What a strange direction to take this. This has the same developer as the old one, so I assumed it would be very similar. Time limit on this one's actually a little rough. We might be screwed. There we go. I gotcha. We're safe. I think that was just right. Great, but you're not done yet. Oh wow, four four levels. Oh man, that's so cool that you make they make you do it four times. Well, Spike heard the animals into their pens. This is his big cattle drive scene. So run Spike forward, backward, left, and right to make him chase the animals. You have to get all the animals oh, that... into the right pens before the time runs out. Ready? Light. This seems like it could be problematic. Turn around and get in the fucking pan. Wow, this control's about as bad as you would expect. Like, this is about as annoying as you would expect it to be. Like, they feel almost pre... Like, predisposed to running in the wrong direction.
Man, this, this, so far, this is ranking a lot lower than the first one. Even though this, this does control much better overall. It also runs a lot better. Like, it doesn't run great. What the fuck was that? You turned 360 degrees! In the fucking pin! Yeah, I don't think there's ever been a good hurting minigame in anything ever. Like, not once. You want a key! This is the key to finding Dip. Now I gotta find that door. You won the key, so now I gotta go. I'm gonna take a nap in the hay. Wake me up when you do something. I think I should have played jump rope instead. <laughs> Gold mine scene one. There's you have four gold minutes in them are hills. Drive your cart through the mine and pick up the gold nuggets. And watch out for the ghost carts. They'll try and steal it back. Ready? Lights, camera, action! This is exactly like a banjo mini game. many reptar bars as possible. Finally, I got the goal. Now where's that mine entry? What is that? Is that like a nuclear reptar bar? Oh that just that just includes lots of them. Yeah, that's five. to change it to these weird mini game levels in this old mine's a little harder to find and there's plenty more of them pesky ghosts once your cart's I, full I didn't expect this game to give us a lot of Steve Bloom doing different voices that that's actually a pretty big buff ready lights camera action What is this track, bro? We, we went from like the most simple map in the world to fucking Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey. 
Chucky's in the fucking Schwarzwald. Thank you, Super Genesis 64, for the follow. Why is it such a huge level? TNT, I guess it probably doesn't do anything. gotten anything for any of these reptar bars yet and I have almost a hundred. I wonder what the hell you get. Oh god, this is this is really jarring. way I might not make it back we might be okay I feel like Dill is so cl not even a character that there's not much reason to be upset at him Susie was also there Susie was also in the game, was in the show pretty early, so. We found the mother load. I mean, I don't, I don't, I don't exactly, I don't think I watched Rugrats past like age 14, so. You gotta get back to the mine entrance before the dynamite blows. Ready? Lights, camera, Oh. Why are these people so unconcerned for the safety of these babies? Yeah, just 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 film our shit for us. I gotta jump over that? This still feels a lot better than any minecart segment in Donkey Kong 64. What the fuck was... That... I, yeah, I don't know what the hell that was. That wasn't me doing anything on my end. Start making me jump. What a brain dead game. Not that I expected that much. 
real still. The hardest part of this level is going to be getting back to the fucking entrance. There's only one way out of here. Uh, too bad I don't know it. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Obviously not the right way, because there's shit I didn't grab. But I think... I, I sure hope this is the fucking end of this fucking routine. Thank God. for me. I got a key. Maybe now we can find Dip. Something tells me you don't have a mine cart driver's license. I really, I really do appreciate old prospector Steve Blue. Unexpected benefit. <laughs> what? You're gonna, Places there's a mini golf places. course? Head through Pick yonder the... doors if you're hankering to start filming a Western yeah! golf scene. Oh, this one seems to have a some actual challenge to it. The par is pretty low. This might have actual hole physics. Wait, 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 wait. No, 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 no. That's just a key. You eat all your vegetables, did you? Gonna make me do it again now. I think this club must be broke. As long as I get below the par, it seems. This game looks a lot more high rent than the first one. But it struck that looks stunningly swastika-esque. Um I hope the hole hasn't been stolen by bank robbers. I bet to do that. Ah! 
Swing hard, Chucky. Why don't I just quit? Then I can't lose. Wow, I certainly know people with that mindset. I don't I really don't like Sheriff Mr. Fiend there. Yeah, if you get 50 Reptar bars, you get a key. And I'm collecting as many as I can because I'm. I, I heard that this game does something sinister and evil. Wow! Just pack ten of them there. Thank you, Truex Storm, for the sub for this baby game. Good job, Tommy. Who made up this game anyways? This one seems this seems a lot more stringent with par than the original. I won! I won! They're really gonna make me do nine fucking holes. There's a par six hole. That has, that's going to be a pain. I don't understand what those keys are, but it definitely seems like I need that those could be something that has a horrible downside if I don't this get them. Must be where they send grown-ups for time out. That's a, that's a funny. Hey, this is hard. <laughs> that's a good reason. Look out! I think everybody should call out Dan for uh, that time a couple days ago when when I, when I said, if you have to ask, you'll never know, and he associated that phrase with Angelica. Which she does say in one episode, but it's insane that that's where Dan's brain immediately went. Graveyard. Yeah, I'm scared of what that par six is cooking. Luckily, I'm like four strokes ahead right now, so it should be fine, but. I don't see any boots on this hill. I might have to go to, like, the game resource and try and get the sound clips from this game to, to harvest some Steve Bloom voices for, this, for a soundboard. Damn. 
Damn, that went right in. Um, wiener. I mean, I mean, well, where? I said where. Time to see how rancid this is. The fact it says Western Hole 6 makes me scared there's going to be a, a mini golf course in every single set. Thank you, Gaijin69 with a nice, uh, 79 with a nice shot. Thank you for the sub. Oh, it's just really long. It's just really long. What a great fucking hole. Great. Oh, see, thank God, thank God there's an incline to pull it down. This... Did, did somebody say that the music for these games was done by, like, somebody vaguely associated with Banjo somehow? Because it sounds so fucking much like it. Like, there's some banjo-ass energy to some of these, some of this music. Like, right here. I'm one stroke over, one one under, equal, one under, three under, four under, two. So I'm still two ahead. Man, look at that fire effect. Oh, these teepees give me the greebies. What the fuck's a greebie, Chucky? This actually seems a little bit difficult. I don't think I can do this. Okay, that was, that that worked out. Yeah, it is build engine fire. don't want to choke here in the last couple holes and have to do them all again. That would be unbelievably dire. Hey, I did it! I'm still two ahead. We're still fine. I can choke a little bit.
Ah, uh, there's a fucking key there. You. Here I come, gold. Hey, this is hard. Okay, I'm three ahead. Okay, now all I have to do is do this par two hole in five shots. Oh, it's fucking totally straight. The hardest part about this is going to be running around to get the fucking reptar bars in the environment. Oops. Oh, I missed one. Whatever. I probably won't even get a hold of one. Too soft. You didn't eat all your vegetables, did you? I hit that too hard. Wow, good going. You were under par for the whole course. It's good. You have, what? Oh, it's a bonus stage. I'm feeling lucky. Let's go try that lock. So is that all the all the Good shit luck, in this level? Are you no, this the seems rootin', tootin cowgirl they sent down from casting. I hear tell you got the quickest bottle in the West. Open the sheriff's door and show us what you got. Good luck, partner. You'll need it. There's no, surely Reptar is not Steve Blue. Get the plates and cans before time runs out. Ready, lights, camera, action! Is just hit the targets with this really basic. Yeah. It's simple. You have sort the picture that makes a match. Ready? Lights, camera, oh. action! I ain't better than that with my eyes closed. What a bizarre game. Yeah, just do it fucking 12 times. Pfft. 
Yeah, really fucking cranking it down, aren't you? I sure hope that the other sets aren't just those same game kind of games again. It's high noon. Squirt milk at all the things you can before time runs out. Ready? Okay. Lights, camera, action! Okay, so their act things actually will appear. Man, that man, Angelica can really get a lot of pressure on that bottle. It's shattering these targets. How can I draw quick, but it's tough being perfect when somebody has to do it. Man, four four ver four levels of each. That's a lot. You're down in the gold mines. Hit anything that moves before time runs out. Ready? Lights, camera, action! Brainless. This is a weird situation where this is much more playable than the first game, but has so much less soul. fun, but finding Dill will be too. Hey, is that everything in this chunk of level? Holy, this is more fun than watching paint dry. I wonder if Jesse James played Goonie Golf. Been there. Good luck, partner. Watch out for tumbleweeds. I guess that's all the levels in this chunk. I always wanted to be a cowgirl. I'll be passing this way again soon. I guess we'll do Captain Cookies. All for one, and one for me! Yeah, this is, this is a lot, this is basically a minigame pack. I didn't expect that. It's showtime, babies! Arr, ahoy, matey, you're latey! The Captain Cookies crew is ready to set sail. Go through yonder doors and choose a set to start filming. See you on the set, landlubber. The star is supposed to be late. Places, pirates, places. If you be ready to film the Captain Cookie's treasure hunt scene, get ye to the set door. Don't get lost. We need you for the next movie. I really hope this. That they're. That they. This isn't just the same games, as long as it keeps giving me different mini games. 
That's tolerable. Ready? Lights, camera, action! I don't have a time limit or anything. What the fuck's the point? I guess I have to find the treasure. Oh, shit. They understood the assignment. The ocean looking that way just reminds me of Halo 1. Way back when Dan and Bob played that and just drove out into the ocean and sat there for a while because... I guess the Master Chief collection isn't right and just lets you sit out miles into the ocean underwater in, in a jeep doing nothing. I guess it just wants me to get that treasure, but I'd, I'd like to grab some more Reptar bars because those allow me to skip content. And the more content in this game I'm allowed to skip, the better. Don't forget... You'll be needing four blue keys to open the final treasure chest. I guess this is like a normal level. It's just framed like a mini game. The controls are much better than the first game, though. I cannot wander out into the sea and drown. Yeah, I, I kind of expect... I didn't expect the first one to have so much more, like, stuff. Like, that was not... I expected them to basically be identical. Kind of weird. I also didn't expect to hear the Reptar bar sound quite so many times. Them deciding that you... Them upgrading how many you need for a, a progression item from 15 to 50. Sure means you grab a lot more. Wow, it's every waterfall. They understood the assignment. Like I've gotten almost a hundred just in this level. There's no way they're gonna make me do this four times. That seems a lot, if only because of all the reptar bars. Yeah, like I'm, I'm looking in the direction of like 15 of them. Like, I'm going to get two keys just from Reptar Bars. Yeah, this must be more like a normal level. There's no way they made, like, five of these. Help! 
fucking get up there, lady. Oh, I'm going backwards. Where's that fucking chest? There's arrows. There's there we go. Don't hate me because I'm perfect. Wow, there's there's multiple of these. That's Something I didn't expect. I'm gonna get like six or seven keys just from this. Ready? Lights, camera! Unless they Action! drastically shorten them. No, that doesn't seem like what they did. Ah, uh, he has an eye patch under his glasses. That's funny. That's cute. Very cute. This has some real Kingdom Hearts 1 energy. Like the way the, um... Like the textures are just flat on the wall. Reminds me of a lot of Kingdom Hearts 1's weird fucking theme park energy. Which I still think was probably deliberate. Yeah, I'm sure hearing that Borg a lot. Oh man, did they they really they kept the four chests and everything, man. I am not giving you guys that fucking sound. Don't forget, you'll be needing four blue keys to open the final treasure chest. After this, I never want to hear that sound again. No, I don't think Dan needs that sound either. I don't think he'd... I, I think the idea of him having to deal with that sound for a 20-hour stream... Camera's real bad. Especially now that it kind of wants a little more out of me. Like platforming wise, anyway. Let's try that oh. scene again, kid. You can die. Okay, it doesn't totally start you over. That's generous. How do I get over there? Don't 
forget, you'll be needing four blue keys to open the final treasure chest. Get over to that, all those rep car bars over there, huh? I feel like it can't, it, there's no way it would want me to go backwards. I'm just, I just missed a path somewhere. I wonder if there's like an option in the menu for like, like correct camera controls but probably not yeah I I don't think I can even jump far enough to get to any of those waterfalls so it can't be like there's a path behind the waterfall I also can't make that jump you don't jump very high you don't have like a ledge grab Oh, there it is. There's a final key. I and mean, there's a the final chest, but there's some reptar bars down here I can get and hear the guarg sound 75 more times. Three, four, five, ten. And yeah, there's like 20 in there. We do four. We do four each time. They made a lot more game. Ready? It's a shame that they did this. treasure chest the fucking lava baby's got to deal with lava this reminds me of like the mining mini game in no more heroes 3 can't walk through the fucking magma. chest that, that I should be finding. Right there. I bet I can, like, platform across the boxes, but I'm not gonna fucking do that. Nothing behind that one. Like, I'll do it if it forces me, but I'm not gonna do that to get Reptar bars. Fuck that. I don't even know if I have health. We haven't seen the piss bottle yet. I think oh! 
They steal your keys. Oh, and they put them back in an existing chest. That's... Fucking stupid. I guess they didn't like everybody asking why Tommy loved drinking piss so much. I say in Blitz. Good find, matey. He gets a key for your heart. Chain Guars. Can't believe how many fucking reptar bars they have in this in this mini game. Like it, it feels just strange to wreck the balance of your own game like that. Tommy can certainly jump higher than you would expect a baby to be able to jump. Don't forget, you'll be needing four blue keys to open the final yeah, I, treasure chest. Yeah, I fucking, I fucking understand, Steve Blue. No such thing as instant success. This game having real platforming is a fucking jarring. I'm number... Um... I'm the bestest! Or was that it? We're kicked out now. Okay, good. good. So where's that door Shorty went through? Places, pirates, places! If you be ready to film the Captain Cookie's treasure collecting scene, get ye to the set door! Didn't we are- Not wasn't that what we just did? Where we'll g dig in, matey! Uh, the first Rugrats game we did was was real charming, and this seems to be a mini game collection, which is a lot less charming. And you get to hear uh, Guar every second. Is this not the same? F okay, no, it's coins instead of fucking Reptar bars. That's not Mr. Krabs. That's Steve Bloom doing a pirate voice. Camera. <laughs> Oh, just collect 15 coins? Is that really it? I just won because I'm better than anyone else, that's all. I, th I think, like, almost all the narration in this game is Steve Bloom. Because he was every voice back in the cowboy level. Ready? Lights! Camera! Action! Even that sounds like it could be Steve Bloom. Oh, they're nickels. That's cute. Because that's a lot of money for a kid. War. I did it. Uh, 
I mean, if you don't play video games, I could easily see somebody working for David Cage because he because everybody still loves him. Even even now, David Cage's I mean, yeah, David Cage's reputation is pretty good. Like, sadly, people who despise him are in a pretty small minority. I think beyond two, like, I like all the allegations that have come out in, in recent years definitely hurt it a little, but at the time, he was, he was an auteur who was making incredible genre pushing narrative games, which I think should tell you everything about the gaming industry for large swaths of time. Ah, oh, what? Yes, have you never heard the term swath before? A swath, a swath of time, a swath of... That's a word. We will have to do the sci-fi stage after this to hear Steve Bloom as the sci-fi guy. He had a lot of really good Poe folks menu reading voices in the in the country stage. Camera. I hate that half the coins I lose, like, just appear Sonic style, and then, like, a big chunk just teleport back to where they originally fucking were. Like, that's... Great. Great. Thank you. I fucking love it. How the fuck am I supposed to get that one, game? Like you fucking okay. There. I won! I won! Isn't even giving me keys, or did I get so many reptar bars? I have all the Good. fucking keys. So where's that door Shorty went through? Oh, there's you two in this level. Leads, matey, but if you do, polish Tag up, scene. Cause it's time for the big pirate treasure race scene. scene. If you're... Make way for Captain Angelico Scare. So this right now is, is is Kirk Thornton, the director of these. Press R1 to use power-ups? Am I gonna fucking brain these children with a rock? Okay, so I do have weapons. Is that like an oil slick? Oh, 
I'm good. What the hell? She's so fast. And she can also grab power-ups. That's bullshit. Two laps, thank God. Eat my dust. It's tasty. <laughs> no one can stop me now. Not what leaving that diaper does. Hey, get back here! I'm the boss. I think my dirty diaper slowed me down. Oh, the ball just clipped totally through him. I don't even know what that one does. It just makes a jingling sound. Am I invincible when that jingling sound's happening? Okay, you didn't like that. What a janky mini game. What a bizarre mini. Like, can I throw it at that? And that gives me something? No, that doesn't seem to be how that works. Hey, get back here! I'm the boss! Out of my way, fish face! I did it! Ready? Lights! Camera! I hope Action. you're not ready, cause here I come! What, do I gotta hunt these kids down and brain them? Is that the- is that the sauce? It's tag, so I guess so. Come here. You're fucking dead, kiddo. Gotcha. Oh, I have a map. That's generous. Come here, Chucky. I'm gonna hit you with a rock. Boom. Soft spot poked. You're next, Phil. Soft spot poked. Pickles. Gotcha. Look, it's way funnier just to imagine Angelica playing tag by mashing her small child palm into the soft spot on the baby's head. Come here, Susie. You're too old to have a soft spot, so Angelica just has this brick. 
fuck was that? Get back here. I'm the champagne of the world. That's all the keys in this level, I'm pretty sure. That's four. No! Fuck off! We are not doing any of those unless we absolutely fucking have to. No, fuck off. But if pirating keeps you too busy to play much golf, X marks the spot for a practice round first. We are not doing any mini golf. We don't absolutely have to. I already did one. Race car drivers just keep getting younger and younger. The crew's ready to film the big race scenes, so put it in high gear. Yeah, what is through those doors? Me. Is this just gonna be a bunch of really you terrible driving minigames? I can almost smell the rubber burning. Welcome to Gigantamonga Super Speedway, home of the diapies of. Let's put the pebble to the metal. Oh, it's Ladies just. Is it going to be the same thing but with a car? Razors, may you drive safely and may you have lots of gas. I sure wish I knew what that fucking chocolate milk did. Hey, everyone's passing me. Bye. Bye. Oh fuck. Man, Tommy's way ahead of me. Help! Eight laps? What the fuck is this, baby park? Man, Tommy is way fucking ahead. No rubber banding? Am I just screwed? I can see him again. Okay, you're mine, Pickles. Ha, you crashed into my diaper. Here, I have another. Leave you in the dust, kiddo. Oh no. That was a crucial misfire. Fuck you. Ha. Got him. Got him. Let's slowly create an increasingly enormous amount of diapers. Here, you want to take the fucking speed up? Oh, 
and it's sure giving me a lot of diaper bombs. I have completely lapped Angelica. I am so far in the lead, it's kind of funny. Imagine if red shells in Mario could actually, like, des destroy power-ups. That would totally change the fucking meta. You could be the biggest asshole of all time. How many keys I even need? I think the I think that I first door only had eight. And maybe will open that security door. That baby shouldn't know the word security. What are you talking? What are you What are you doing? Hey! It's gonna be. Is this all races? Bonus one. The store's not available at this time. Okay. Welcome to Gigantamonga's Bayou Beltway. To start a race and scurry on through the indoor. But if you're new a to A hoverboard? Like a hover... Action. A hover race? Welcome, y'all. Let's get this here race underway. Okay, I think we'll be done with this world after this also, because... We'll go. We'll go check out outer space. Ready? Lights, camera, action! Hey, Bernie's first is. Hey, this is a no passing Susie zone. Only three laps, huh? That's a lot more reasonable. Although this course is. Longer. This controls bizarrely. I'll kill you! I guess I... Uh -oh. You, you get back, you bitch. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'm gonna shove this fucking diaper down your throat. I have three diapers now. Y'all yeah, just... She didn't hit any of them!
Ugh. What a janky course. Oh, I left her in the fucking dirt. I don't know what the hell happened to her. She must have run into like four diapers in a row or something. Her ass is not catching up. I have to assume that those targets are something you can hit with these balls, but that seems like a... Not a great thing to go for when you're in the middle of a race. Like, it didn't seem to... Fuck, fuck, fuck! That didn't seem to get me anything shooting at it, and I did hit it, so I don't know. I'm still a long way from the fucking right from the fucking finish line. Not a great mini game, if we're being completely honest here. We did it. Oh, it gave me Reptar bars? Okay. Yes! I did it! Now maybe we can find Jill! Why walk when you can drive? I hope the winner gets a pile of books! Okay, that was that, so I don't need to do that anymore, but these are usually separate. This is gonna be fucking mini golf. Oh, it's not. Time to the gigant among us desert speedway. To get to the starting line, speed. I've had enough of these fucking door. races. I'm sorry. Need a tune up, make a pit stop at the checkered flag on the ground first, and we'll give you I've a had quick enough. jump start. You know what? We're just going to barrel forward as fast and hard as possible, and if there's a wall later, we'll come back. Bug break. Because I don't want to do any more of those bad races. Wee! Way to go! You did it! Nothing can stop us now! Except for the fact we need 25 keys. Space Age backup security door. You only need one key to open it, though. Too bad I don't remember which lock is the right one. Back to looking for keys. By the time we save Dill, he's gonna be a grown up. <laughs> Way to go! You found the right key. You guys stay here. I'm gonna go find help, and then we'll go find a little bald guy. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find his head, so it was on his shoulder. He said to stay here. Chucky, Angelica's right. Huh? All skill. Like this time for everything. We lost the game. I earned so it. Find him. Come on, let's go. Hold your ponies. You ladies go one way and I'll go the other. Okay. Come on, you guys. Marge! This is a job for Sherlock Holmes. <laughs> I still had 11 spare keys. I only needed to get nine keys. If I get out of here, I promise to never insult those dumb, stinky babies again. Oh, are these, are these just going to be like more normal levels? Yeah, I assumed there would be a little more after. Dale, is that you? 
You'll have to find four ghostly keys to open the door to my laboratory and find them. Good luck. You'll need it. <laughs> okay, so this one doesn't give me a uh, a map like the pirate one did. But it also seems to be smaller, so I guess... Yeah, it's not going to ask me to platform either because Angelica has a really shitty chump. There, there's the key I need. But how do I get over to it? Oh, the camera's so fucking bad. Mr. Magoo shit. Hmm. I wonder what this button does. I'm impressed, but getting to your little bald friend from here would be a much greater challenge. You don't Who is stand the ghost of a chance. <laughs> How come Steve Bloom never does voices like this? I feel like we need more gay vampire bloom. Cut! Almost, kid. Give it another shot. I didn't even see the cut. Cut. What? Cut. Hey, kid. Feel the pot. I don't know why that happened twice. Oh, I have to move that. Okay, I see what it wants. There's a switch I gotta find to move that fucking bridge over. But where? Like, where's the button? Can I walk in the green goo if I don't fall? Like, I assume the thing that makes me stop is the fall. Like, that, that has the texture of. Okay, no, that's death. Hey, kid! Feel the pot. Yeah, there we go. It giving you 25 holes and it's like, yeah, you, you just, just do it is is really funny, honestly. That's so sad. Like, never once you got lucky? I was kind of dreading having to go get another 13 keys, but that was com that, that's completely doable since I still had like a level and a half left. This is a lot more what I expected the game to be. There's like normal levels, not a mini game compilation. Can't believe it was the first one. That's really funny. Cut. Come on, Almost, kid. Give it another shot. I hope you didn't erase my fucking progress. That actually annoyed me a little bit. Okay, it did not erase my progress. Ah, now I 
Gotcha, Shorty. You're trapped like a brat. Yucky! <laughs> I thought it was gonna start a fucking fire. That does it. I can't work like this. You're on your own, Shorty. No, he's not. This is a job for Okie Dokie Jones. Babies. Why did it have to be babies? I'm coming, Billy. I expected more of this. Instead, you have to complete the minigame compilation to reach the actual fucking game. Okie dokie Jones to the rescue! This is your biggest challenge yet, Jones. Is this a fucking Crash Bandicoot level? Look, oh my god! Cut, cut, cut! Talk about starting at the bottom. It's the fucking Crash Bandicoot level. You do not control good enough to want me to do this. Almost, kid! Give it another shot! Yeah, I assume this has to be the end of the game. Or, like, pretty close to the end of the game. Like, I could see there being one more level after this, but I could also see this being the end. Cut, cut, cut! Talk about starting at the bottom. Cut, cut, cut! Talk about you move at the so bottom. fucking fast. Like this baby is fucking going. Cut. Let's try that scene again, kid. Cut! Almost, kid! Give it another shot! Jesus! Cut! Almost, kid! Give it another shot! Cut! 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 Talk about Ugh. starting at the bottom! At least there's no lives! Cut, cut, so if cut. that's out at all, it's a Talk wall. It's just a. At the bottom. It's just a wall. You have to wait till it's basically totally pulled in, or else it will block your fucking way. I'm not getting any of those fucking Oh god, fuck off. Cut! What? Take a Oh, I lost count a long time ago. Okay, so it's Cut! Almost, kid. Give it another shot. I cannot make that jump. Out of my way! I got to find my brother! Oh, there's a... Oh, it's a fucking elevator. How's I suppose know that? Cut, cut, cut! Why put it there? No Why put it there if I can't walk success. across? Oh, we're, ch oh, we're turning. Cut, 
Oh, is there stuff down there? I just go under it like this. It's the end. Like, there's no reason to collect Reptar bars anymore. There's no more keys. Cut! Go, oh, can't touch the Let's fire. Let's try that scene again, kid. This controls so bad. Like, it's kind of stunning. I don't no even know where I'm supposed to fucking go. Success. Cut, cut, cut! Hey, kid, feel the pot. Thank God there's no lives. This, this, the, the game feel of this specifically with it also being Indiana Jones spoof makes me think of Bart's nightmare really fucking hard. Cut! Take a... Oh, Where do you want me to go then? Go. What the, what the hell? Oh, there was a... Cut! That's not right either. Let's try that scene again, kid. Thank you, Simon the Digger, for the 100 bits. Where the fuck am I going now? Help! Oh, I can't fucking move at all. I somehow got myself trapped in the ground. Make, make, if you're gonna do shit like this, make sure it always lines up. Don't leave me standing here for fucking minutes while your platforms sync up enough for me to make a jump. This seems like it's just never gonna sync up. Cut, cut, cut! There's no such thing as instant success. Wait! Am I supposed to go this way? Cut! I don't know oh, how nice that kid. happened. Give it another shot. Supposed, am I supposed to be going this way? Maybe? Yeah, I, I was supposed to be going this way. Cut, cut, cut! There's no such thing as instant success. I didn't expect the game to throw cut, cut, to cut. throw me in this There's really no bad controlling maze. Success. This is the end. This feels like. Bye, Tommy! 
final scene. Okay, we're at the last level. Are we going to control Reptar again? <laughs> I finally caught it up to you. There's nowhere to run to, Billy. Nowhere to cry. Come on, let's... Ooh, Reptar. Just gotta make a few more adjustments to this camera platform, then it'll be ready for the big chase scene through Reptar Park. Oh, it's Jurassic Park. We're gonna be riding the the Reptar wagon through. We're gonna be doing the. I haven't had one in like 15 minutes anyway. That must be God. That dude's so noble. I love lazy teamsters. Again, but this time I'm gonna get help. I'll pick everybody else up along the way. Uh, I can drive this thing. Uh, I got one at home. Come on, Angelica, jump in. You got to help me get Dill. I'm on a break. Yeah, Search for Reptar is definitely a more interesting game than this. count a long time ago. Wow, this controls also controls bad. Like, Search for Reptar controlled pretty bad, but this... <coughs> this game has, like... is just as bad, if not worse. <laughs> Take a... Oh, I lost count a long time ago. Like, you get... The, you have, like, a ramp up of your speed, so it's actually kind of difficult to stay ahead in the beginning. Yeah, like, what am I... What am I supposed to be doing? Like, I can't go faster, I don't think. Take a... Oh, I lost count a long time ago. Hurry, Tommy! Reptar's playing tag, and I don't want to be it! Like, if you hit anything, you're too slow and you will... I think this was, this was like 2000, I think. Oh, I lost count a long time ago. That's a sound clip that I might get. We do it, or do we have to pick up somebody? Okay, checkpoints are going to be picking up the kids. You're our sight for sore flies. Oh, great. Just what I needed. More babies. Up in, you guys, quick. Watch out! Take the babies from talking. They're fresher. Okay, I gotta jump over the goo. Cut, cut, cut! Don't worry, it's fake. It won't hurt you. But your reviews might. Wow, this controls like shit. And it also wants you to do weird jumps without knowing what direction it wants you to jump in at first.
And now we're going to get Chucky, and he's going to break through the gate, Susie. right? Hi, guys. Thanks for the ride. <gasps> we was really lost. Nice Reptar. Nice, nice <laughs> Reptar. Hop in, you guys, quick. What the? What? Huh? I don't know what the fuck that was. Man, they're not running good right now. What the fuck? It's, I don't have like weapons. Maybe triangle does something. Cause it does another. They told me never to work with children. Okay, people, one more time. Did they not expect anybody to get past that door? What? Was I supposed to go down? Children. Okay, people, one more time. Hey, how about you? How about you fucking let me know what direction you want me to go? That'd be fucking sick. Like, you changed the fucking perspective to sideways. You'd think that would be. Yeah, how was I supposed to know to go that way? Cut. They told me never to work with children. Okay, people, one more time. Touching anything but perfectly level ground tanks your speed. Although I think jumping lets you go pretty fast, so there, I guess there is shortcuts you can take. How fucking bizarre. Final level, final level. The very final, final, final level. Or is this just gonna be cutscene? Billy, slow down! I'll stop or I'll kill! Yeah, stop! Billy, stop, please! I wanna go home! Hurry, you guys! We almost got to him! How can it be so hard to catch someone who can't even walk? Is it over? Hey, wait for me! I wasn't scared. I was uh, just letting you babies get the best view. Nothing scares me. And this is our new Reptar Park ride. The scariest, most high-tech ride in the world. If it ever works. Really? It's still got a few bugs in it. Like that. She must be a tester. <laughs> Angelica, you're in a lot of trouble, young lady. But, but, it was the baby's idea. Now, Angelica, the kids have been here the whole time. And they've been great. I haven't heard a peep out of them. This tour's <laughs> probably too exciting for them, that's all. No, they was with me, and we were pirates. Arr, and astronauts. Pasta and cowboys, yeah! And we drove race cars. Vroom, vroom. Oh dear, classic Lipschitz sensory overload. 
I'm afraid you can't have any non-dairy ice cream from the studio commissary. It could put you at the edge. What? No! No! We did it, you guys! We I forgot the whole too. plot element where the Air Force she's obsessed with the obvious we, we, dipshit we child you? psychologist. Uh, that sure is a a nineties thing. We did it. I can't believe that door. You'll find a bonus race track. I'm not doing a fucking bonus race track. Go fuck yourself. play Rugrats in Paris. No. I played these two games because they were made by the same developer. Like I had experience with them because of that. Uh, but we will play Because I'd like to raid Daihime-sama when they go live here in a little bit. So we're going to play some of another game that uh, I got as a child. A licensed game. Toy Story on Super Nintendo. Oh, it's made by Traveler's Tale. They make total dog shit most of the time. I never beat this game. I don't even think I got to the last level. I think I got to like... Sid's house as a child. This game is this game is terrible. Wow, so many controls. Why does it feel like there's fucking loading on a cartridge? No, this game's not impossible to beat. Today is Andy's birthday present. You gotta go find what presents he's gonna be given. Send the sergeants downstairs to see if Andy has any new toys. Okay, Sergeant, this is a code red. We need to recon post downstairs. Move the lid on the bucket of soldiers and find the baby monitor. Open the bucket. This is one of those games where you can't actually fucking do anything. So you, you see that the trouble already. Those things that hurt me.
We did it. We got through the level. Okay, man, let's move, move, move. The army file, okay. Come in, mother bird. Red alert, help the other toys get to their places. Rex, Ham, and... What up? Man, I forgot this level entirely. I actually forgot a lot of this. Oh no, you, you need to go under the bed. I had this as a kid and I never beat it once. I got sort of close, I think. I don't remember how far. I, I feel like I got to Sid's house, which is pretty close to the end. But then, then I just died because it's so fucking difficult. Also, your health doesn't come back between levels because whoever made this game is a psychopath. Like, I don't even know what it wants. Maybe he can move it because he's a big strong guy. Yeah, babies are dead. We killed them. Oh, look, it's it's Buzz Lightyear. He's so big and cool. Try and keep up with Buzz to show that you're just a... Oh, right. It's a race. Cool. I'll try again. Your health doesn't come back. There's also no death animation, just hard cuts. Ow. 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 I don't know if I'm even actually racing him or if it's just a conceit. I fucking hate check when checkpoints do that. Like you should, your checkpoint should really have a pretty wide hitbox. Feels like a pretty basic like thing for a game.
Why can't I get up there now? What the fuck? Why can't I get up there? Okay, that time it worked. So hard to recognize that you're up there. What? Whatever. Fucking whatever. Yeah, just throw shit at me constantly. I wonder why I never fucking beat this. Jesus. fucking work? I still am, do not understand how it expects you to not get hit by the planes when they just come flying in. Can I, can I have a continue? No? Okay. Well, what are you, while well, you did keep up with me, I could play, okay. Yeah, yeah, he does the thing from the movie. We get it. I, what? Fight a giant dream Buzz Lightyear? You don't want to be in the way when my Take laser that. goes off. Take that! Take that! The fuck is this? Take that! Here it comes! It's nice when games convey anything. You don't want to be in the way when my laser goes Take off. Take that! Take that! Here it comes! Take that! Here it comes! Take that! Take that! Here it comes! Take that! Ooh. So it's just this? Here it comes! Ow. Okay, so, so he doesn't regen his shield. Here it comes. Ow. Ooh. Here it comes. Yeah. Okay, that's not that wasn't so bad. I assume the stars are what gives me continues. Yeah, you're... Use the RC car to try and knock Buzz behind the desk. Keep the car going by collecting the... So here's the first genre shift level. Guess what? It controls like shit. There's not actually a time limit, though, so you can take it slow. This controls astonishingly bad.
Okay, the okay the, the power is a timer. I was not aware of that. I thought it was by me holding touching the button. Game over. Can I continue? Can I continue? Okay, that was Toy Story on Super Nintendo. This is fucking die live yet. Yes, okay. This is a this is a mister. There's no safe states. Or maybe there is, but I wouldn't what's what's the point? If there's if what's the point of playing a game you never beat if you use save states to beat it? Anyway, I'm gonna send you off to die. We beat the baby games. Uh later this week. Probably we will do a simp stream where I will play a bunch of old Simpsons games. I was given as a child So we had baby streams so after this is simp stream No, it's not. It's it's all Nintendo and Super Nintendo shit. I never had so Simpsons Road Rage. 